Well, another massive shout out to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. They've got another big deal, including a 30 day money back guarantee. Save 82% if you grab Atlas VPN for the equivalent of just £1.46 per month. And I'll put a link, of course, uh, down below. But Atlas VPN uh, stops ads and malware, blocks all malicious links, ads and trackers, notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. It's developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers in 2019. Over 6 million users worldwide. And it protects all your devices, unlimited devices, with a single subscription. So as I said, 30-day money-back guarantee, save 82%, £1.46 per month, the equivalent of. Do check out the link below. Well, in 2023, will the Conservatives be able to win back Brexiteer support or will we see Reform UK support increase throughout this year as we saw last year? Certainly more and more people now looking at the rise of Reform UK and the Conservatives apparently stepping up election preparations with the Reform UK surge uh, certainly rattling a few Tory backbenchers. It looks like uh, Rishi Sunak going to be holding a cabinet away day at Chequers to brainstorm strategies, apparently, for the next election. One thing's for sure, I don't think uh, the Tories are going to win back Leave of support with more talk. It's going to have to be policy delivery. It's going to have to be action. I'm sure many of you in the comments below will say it's too late for the Tories to win back your support. But look, Richard Tice, we know, has spoken about defections. There's absolutely no doubt that some Conservative MPs now very worried that the Tories are going to uh, see further support switch to Reform UK. We know there's been lots of stories and speculation about whether we could see uh, Tory MPs defect uh, to Reform or not. And we did see sort of the early signs of some defections. Now, there has been another defection. I'm going to go through that in a moment. But I think it's interesting to see what Richard Tyson, Reform UK, now talking about, tackling the issue of immigration here, uh, talking about uh, lawful migration and also illegal migration, saying that only Reform UK has a plan to stop the boats. Uh, this is what Reform recently put out. Unfortunately, I can't have the uh, sound on on this because of copyright. But watch this before I reveal the latest defection to Reform UK. So yeah, let me know what you make of that messaging in the comments below, guys. But there has been another defection to Reform UK. A Conservative councillor in Sunderland uh, claiming the Tories are out of touch and switching to Reform. This is councillor Paul Donahay, a uh, Wearside councillor, defecting to Reform UK, saying the Tories are out of touch with the people's priorities. With the councillor saying both nationally and locally, the Tories are out of touch with the people's priorities and they no longer represent me. He said he won't be standing down that he was elected to serve the people of Washington South and that representation will continue with Reform UK. Uh, Reform UK putting out a statement themselves saying they welcome the councillor and that they'll support him in his quest to represent the residents of his area without the constraints of his previous party's whip system. So whether or not now we see a continual trickle uh, of defections or not in the run-up to the next election or whether the Tories can actually win back uh, Brexiteer support, as I said, the only way for them to do that is going to be through action, not just more speeches about how tough they're going to be. But you're seeing some defections now from the Tories to Reform UK. And I will keep bringing you all the very latest on this and more. Guys, do let me know in the comments below. If there was an election tomorrow, who would you be 
voting for. As ever, I will keep bringing you all the very latest, so please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.